Now, uh, Amelia Clark, did you get to yes. chat with everyone backstage? Um, yeah, kind of. Did you get to talk to him? Yeah, kind of, maybe. No, really. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia Clark loves Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm actually blushing. Um, yeah, I just think you're wicked. <laughs> it's a game of two halves. I, I think Dominic's wicked. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. baby yes. in the corner. Yeah. But actually, now, is it your daughter? I'm sure you like Matt LeBong too, Kate. But your, your daughter is quite the fan. A huge fan. She's a big friends obsessive. Mm -hmm. She could go and master. Are you? Yes. Oh, we should have <laughs> <laughs> Dominic, do you have a relative or friend who's a fan of Matt's? Oh, many, 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 many. I mean, All I think right. my mum would pass out now if she knew I was sitting here with you. And I'm obsessed with the new job you've got, which I really, really wanted. Oh. oh I yeah. shouldn't have said that out loud, should I? Yeah. I mean, it's the best job in the world. Working in the coffee shop, the one in... The, yeah. <laughs> the new one. The top it's gear. Fun. And uh, are you returning the favour? Do you watch Game of Thrones, Matt? I watched it the first season, and then I kind of fell out of it, and then I tried to watch it this That's season. Okay. That's okay. And I don't know That's what's okay. going on. I can't keep up. I feel There's so bad. There's lots of stuff going on. There's so yeah. much going on. There is. There really is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> I mean, I could lie, but I don't want to lie. I'm a no, lie. no, no, no. You've seen the good. You've seen the good bits. You've seen the first season. <laughs> no, I, it's not, is it all down here? From no. <laughs> but this, what is it? It's season six now. It's season six. And it's bigger than ever. Yeah. Whose laugh is that? <laughs> that seriously sounds like a chicken has been released into the studio. That's not they right. can't be. No. Is that a, I, I thought it was going to stop because I thought there was a mechanical fault with something. <laughs> but that's a human being. <laughs> Oh, it's that man there. All oh, right, well, I'm glad you're having Lovely. a nice time. <laughs> Yuck it up. I will, I will, I will <laughs> no, watch, so, I see, promise. I know, no, I know. I do have one slight request from you, though. What's uh -oh. um, So, would you, would you be able to ask me how I'm doing? <laughs> oh, yes, do that. <laughs> you, you can say no. Everyone will hate you, but you can say no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yes. Uh, well, since I, you know, haven't been up on, up to speed on the show. I will, yes, I will say, thank um, you. Yeah, how are you doing? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> It was. What was really embarrassing is when Matt walked out, I went, how are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, shut up. What are you doing? Yeah. Samuel L. Jackson, you, takes aren't a thing. Sam, you're not, you're Sam, not keen I'm, on. I'm here to bear witness to the fact that Sam likes to move fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't vary that much. I'm not that actor. I do the same thing all the time. But sometimes, and I can speak from experience, like, Sam is so charismatic, um, and he has been for as many years as you've been making movies. And sometimes... <laughs> you're in the, but sometimes you're in a scene with Sam and you just kind of go out of the scene and you're just watching Sam mm -hmm. being Sam. <laughs> and it's really powerful and you go, hang on a second, what's my line? Uh, <laughs> I've only had that... Well, I was doing a movie with Dustin Hoffman and in the middle of the shot, Dustin just stops and goes, wait, cut, cut, Sam. I saw you. I said, you saw me what? I said, I saw you say to yourself, oh my God, that's Dustin Hoffman. You were amazed. You were amazed. <laughs> oh my God, I'm acting with Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> 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 because I was really, I really admired what you said about Michael Jackson. I would never forgive myself, Gary, if I didn't tell you you are one of the greatest actors to have ever lived. You're one of my inspirations. Oh. You're... Li <laughs> Absolutely. And if you have not seen The Darkest Hour, you will see one of the greatest actors alive give one of the greatest performances of one of the great British characters of all time. It is Thank astonishing. You so much. So, yeah. Thank you. And this wasn't your first time meeting Jennifer Aniston? Um, that was my first time, but then I went to dinner at her house uh, after the, the, we, we finished the shoot. I was in L.A. about maybe a month later, and she very kindly invited me to her lovely house, and we had a dinner with her friends, and... and <laughs> I still get starstruck. I mean, even looking at that then, I was like, well, it's me and Jennifer Aniston <laughs> on the screen together, you know? Yeah. And, uh, anyway, so we're having dinner, and I'm playing cool, this is great, everybody's lovely. Doorbell rings, Lisa Kudrow comes in with her husband, <gasps> and I'm like, okay, Rachel and Phoebe are in the room now. <laughs> oh. 
stay cool. <laughs> Keep your hand off the mobile phone. <laughs> And, uh, and she says, oh, Phoebe, um, uh, Lisa, Lisa, <laughs> Lisa, <laughs> sit next to me. Oh, so, so embarrassing. Oh, but, you know, oh, wait, I don't need to say more hi. Oh, nice hello. to meet you. Oh, oh, oh my God. No, Amelia. Hi. Nice Jason, to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh. I'm sorry. I would just like to say, <laughs> I... I am the biggest Game of Thrones fan in the entire world. <laughs> and my heart, literally, there's a reason why I'm the only red wine on this table. And it's because I'm just freaking out to me. <laughs> oh. Literally, the tongue, everybody, I'm such a fan of everybody here, but I, I went through a Game of Thrones, like literally finished all eight seasons in a month this year. Wow. wow. Do you know That's how, so like. That's so impressive. Would you like to stroke Jason Momoa's coat? <laughs> Hey, good hey, time. you know what would make your kids really jealous? What's that? Is if you just posed with a lightsaber with Finn. That would actually make them very jealous. Do it, do it. <laughs> I've got one, I've got one in Manchester United Red. Oh. Uh, <laughs> where is it? No, I really do, I really do. Where's the blue one again? Okay, there's the blue one. And, and actually, now here's the thing, because you're in, is it, you're in the new King Arthur film? I am, just a small part, yeah. Have you done some sword training? <laughs> I have done some stuff. Okay, well, we're looking for some. Uh, oh, look at him. Look at this. <laughs> okay. You get that to work. Yeah. I'm moving well yeah, out yeah, of the way. Yeah, no, uh, can, can we not kill? Can we not kill Kylie? That's it's all I ask. Be very kind. Now, there's a. W so basically, to turn this on, you push. You push that thing, that one up. Okay. That. There we go. There oh. 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 You've gone off. David Beckham! You've gone off. You've gone you off. have met your match. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just wanted to meet you, mate. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what they yeah. say. It's uh, your quote at the beginning of the movie. Um, you know, sometimes what is it exactly? Uh, li <clears throat> uh, life moves pretty fast. Sometimes you gotta stop and look around. I think is what it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. Or you wow. miss the whole thing. So. Yeah, there you are. Yes. I, can I just tell you? I if for a moment when I saw that movie when I was young, and this is I mean this sincerely. You would have been I've, very young. I, I, well, I've watched it multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> The movie is good when you're young and old. That's yeah, the cool yeah. thing about it's his one of the greatest film. performances. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. And you literally got me to start living my life to the fullest oh. just with that performance. Aww. So thank you very much. Always, I've always wanted to say that to you. So. I'm glad Amazing. you did. I'm glad you had well, love, yeah. I, don't, I think yeah. we should stop the show exactly. now. We've had, a, yeah. we've had a lovely, genuine moment. Yeah. No one's ever it. said that about one of my movies. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever will. That will never happen. It's downhill from yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think everyone does an impression of Christopher Walken because he's, <laughs> he's such an easy kind of... <laughs> you know, I feel like what this show needs is more cowbell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> depends on what you like me to say. <laughs> Basically, there's no punctuation. <laughs> Anything that comes out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, I like that. I know whole pages of heat. You surprise me. <laughs> So I, there's this there's this scene in the middle of the film, which you'll be familiar with. You were there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one person you don't need to explain it to. <laughs> so there's, 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 there's... <laughs> he, he remembers. You're very good in this. He thing. remembers. <laughs> yeah. There's a scene in the, in the middle of the film, which is because uh, because uh, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about this. Don't worry. <laughs> they're, they're, they're separated, like a great thriller, they're separated from, for the entire film, and they meet twice, once at the end and once in the middle. And it takes place at a restaurant in L.A. It's a great scene. It's one of the great pieces of screen acting you can hope to watch. There it is. It's, there's a picture of it. 
it's like a, it's a mutual recognition of each other. Anyway, so there's a bit where they, ha like, they sit and have coffee and have tea and talk about stuff. I'm going on, I apologise. <laughs> anyway, so Al Pacino at one point, Al Pacino says this, he goes, uh, So... <laughs> <laughs> we're sitting here like a couple of regular fellas. I mean, uh, you do what you do, I do what I gotta do. If I'm there, <laughs> and I gotta put you away, I won't like it. But if it's between you and some poor bastard whose wife you're gonna turn into a widow, brother, you are going down. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, and so then, and then it cut, and then Michael Mann cuts back to the esteemed gentleman at the end of the sofa. <laughs> What if you do got me boxed in? <laughs> I'm not gonna put you down. <laughs> Moving face to face. Yeah. But I will not hesitate. Not for a second. And that's my... Hey. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is so... This is so meta. <laughs> I feel like I've gone into a parallel universe where um, I, I, I... You're I, playing all these parts. Yes, I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's great. Yeah. That, I did you an impression of Ken Brown. That was Sorry. my favourite scene. The was movie. it your favourite scene? Yeah. It's a Still? Great... Yeah. Now I'm not. No, no, but my favourite scene that was written before, yeah. not because of or doing it, but I just my favourite scene written in the yeah. film. You know, that... That's it's a great piece great. of writing. Yeah, yeah. Great... it feels like it plays in two in two singles in a way. Like yeah, it just, yeah, and it, yeah. And it's it's like a, the most beautiful game of tennis. Did yeah. you each yeah. do lots of takes? Did you do lots of takes? I forget or... how many takes we did. I don't think we did more than five to eight or nine at the yeah. most. Maybe, maybe less. I... Yeah. And you talk about your dreams and you talk about your life. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's so great. It's so that. great. There's that bit, another Let's bit where you go. <laughs> Well, you know, you see, he says, uh, he says, uh, Pacino says, so you never wanted a regular type life. <laughs> and, and, uh, Bob, may I call you Bob? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bob says, um, what's that, barbecues and ball games? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you talking, Paul, about that actually when you got to set, you were a bit like that. You were kind of fangirling around the edges. Yeah, yeah. You know, after uh, we shot Ant-Man, and it, but I was alone on that. It was like working in a, in a bubble, pretty much. And then all of a sudden, I'm standing around and seeing Robert Downey Jr. in the Iron Man suit and seeing Chris Evans, and they're all there. I've seen the movies, and uh, I felt like I was... I was 10 years old. It was crazy. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Did you really do the touching the arm thing? Yeah, yeah. I saw, I, I saw uh, Sebastian Stan getting his arm, the silver arm, on, and uh, it, was, it was... I was like I was watching somebody bathing. I'm not supposed to see this. <laughs> uh, but, but I did. I went over and I just kind of... I was going to change. I felt the arm. And Chris Evans had to run to the bathroom really quick, so he asked the prop guy, he goes, can you just hold this? He was holding his shield. And he ran off, and I, I said, can I <laughs> run around with him. I was like, wow, it's, it's heavier than I imagined. But, you know, it's made of vibranium. Of course yeah. it's going to be heavy. Yeah, of course, yeah. yes, yes. No, it was, it, was, it was pretty cool, I must say.